Hi guys, Emily here. Um, so today, I I did not plan on this specific video. I my plan was to like talk about something completely different, but I just felt it in my spirit to you know come and talk about this. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm a little bit low on energy because I'm not feeling so good. But not to worry, I'm still pretty. All right, let's get started. Um, so today I will be talking about dyslexia and dealing with dyslexia. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I'll be talking about dealing with dyslexia. Funny, because um, I'm not the type of person to write stuff down. Uh, I don't know if it is because I'm dyslexic, but yeah, writing things, it doesn't help me. I'm not good at expressing myself on paper at all. Uh, I try to, I try my best. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory on it so you have, you know, a clearer picture on things. Uh, so I hope the audio is recording. I'm so random. How, how, who just starts talking about something serious and then just stops to think about something that random is so silly I should stop as I was saying um, <clears throat> so basically I only found out about having dyslexia after school like way after high school and um, like back when I was you know in school I yeah I struggled with a lot of things I struggled with reading I guess was like the top thing and you know back in school like people are laughing at you your parents don't know what's going on with you so they're screaming at you like why, why aren't you why can't you read at your age you're in grade 7 why can't you read properly well by grade 7 I think I, I kind of figured it out in a way but not not the way I have now obviously uh, so you know reading was like a very huge challenge for me and expressing myself as well like I had a lot of trouble there um, and ooh, I feel like you know most times I I would know what I was what I wanted to talk about but I couldn't like bring it out the way I was thinking about it you know I'm still struggling with these things by the way you guys it's not it's not like gone <laughs> um, yeah so you know school went on and I, I I'll be honest I didn't do well in school at all to be honest I and after that like I completely just gave up on the idea of school at like altogether yeah there were other factors but like I just gave up on going to school because you know I thought I'm probably not you know gonna do well so after school you know struggled a bit told you the story about me moving out and everything I, I guess the time came for me to go to college um, deciding to go to college uh, it was it didn't come from the confidence that I you know I, I could study better or anything like that you know because my attention span is crazy like focusing on something is very very hard um, and for me to understand something that I'm reading it takes me reading one sentence a million times until it sticks and I can read it properly you know um, I'm gonna explain later on like how I read words how I read now and you know how what strategies I have now um, so yeah I decided to go to school and I did not know what was gonna happen already I couldn't study you know, reading was a problem, understanding things was a problem, expressing myself was a problem. So I, I really did not know, you know, how it was going to go. I didn't know if I was going to pass or anything like that. But, you know, I had faith. I, I prayed to God. I'm like, God, if I shouldn't do this, please just stop me now. Because I didn't want my parents to spend so much money and just fail them, you know. Uh, and you know, I I couldn't explain to them like what my struggles were and that caused a little bit of more stress on me because then <clears throat> It's probably something that they probably wouldn't have understood or just expressing myself again 
uh, would have been a challenge, you know. So yeah, I went to school. Thank God. I think that I guess this was just God's way of helping me through college. So the school I went to, um, I was the first person to. Sorry, sorry. We're gonna just act like it. It's not there. Like we can't hear it, boy. But anyway, um, luckily I was the only one who applied for the course at the school so I was alone in my class and well my exams were at a different school that had like I don't know how many students but it had a lot of students but in my class my training I was alone so my lecture thank you so much Mr. Tupa like he was very very patient with me I swear God worked through that man and um, <clears throat> you know he I don't know how he knew that that would be helpful, but he would read to me He would read to me he would read all my modules to me and explain them and they stuck like it's different for me because like w When I hear something it sticks when I read it I need to read it a million times before I get it It took time for me to discover how my brain actually operated it took some practice and some research and all that and I needed to you know just find out how special my dyslexia was specifically and so my lecturer would read to me you guys i love that man i'm so grateful for him he would read to me and you know things would stick sometimes he would ask me to read to him which was almost yeah it was kind of helpful uh but yeah obviously it had challenges and he he didn't judge me he even when I, I I was reading and making mistakes, he he didn't laugh at me. He didn't judge me, and I felt safe in that environment, and it helped me improve. You know, it helped me get better. And the more I read, the more I practiced how I could read better and just get better. Um. So you know that passed, and then fast forward, exams came, and guys, I was nervous. I was nervous. Uh, you know officially I, I mean initially I couldn't really study properly I didn't really I didn't really know how to anyway and you know m I mean most people have a common way of studying like you pick a book you read you write your notes down but that's not how I do it it's I needed to find a way that worked best for me um, so Exam time came, now I needed to study. And unfortunately, at the time, I didn't have a computer. My computer died for some reason. <laughs> and yeah, I, I, I needed to come back home to Kafiwe, uh, which was the, another set of challenges. But uh, so I needed to find a way that worked best for me to study. So basically, it, it came with a lot of challenges because like, my school didn't really offer like all the material i needed you know first of all my modules arrived like three months into the lesson and this is a three month diploma okay it's it was very intense and within the six months my modules arrived like two or three months into the lessons luckily not that it's a good thing but COVID 19 happened and we, we had that break and then we had an extension of lessons so thank god you know i had an extension and i could catch up so um my i only had like my online hmm? where were we sorry about that you guys yeah so as i was saying um i only had my online um papers to work with my online um tools to work with um and on on there i had i think three four exams four tests exams past papers you know uh and that's all i had to work with and you know i prayed about it and you know my spirit was set on focusing on just what i had like my spirit just told me focus on what you have don't look for other papers just focus on what you have 
and you know I took those tests like a crazy person I would take them every day if I didn't understand something I'll go back to my books try my best to read guys it was it was a huge challenge and my mom stayed here for almost 30 minutes we move that was I I I studied the best way I could and I didn't know what the turnout was gonna be I was scared but you know I prayed and you know God gave me comfort he said you've put in the work that you need to put in and that is all you need to do your best so time came for my exams and you know I went there um, <clears throat> we were in that specific exam room there was like the, the three of us uh, but like there were other people who were writing on different days um, so yeah there were other people um, so yeah exam started at first like they almost denied my um, ID they needed to confirm it so it took a long time like it took maybe like 40 minutes just to confirm my id i was getting nervous you know so i opened my paper and it was okay it wasn't exactly what i was studying but like i knew what i was seeing you know but that's not what excited me because i still needed to read the questions and understand them and give an answer that I was confident in you know with no doubts just click the right answer so you know I start my exam the exam is three hours so yeah I, I, I wrote my exam and <clears throat> so with Ayata the the results are instant they're instant once you're done writing the exam you submit and they give you your results they tell you if you've passed or not and the pass mark was 60 percent 60 percent you guys it was really high um so um, i'm nervous right now just thinking about it yeah i submitted my exam i did not know what to expect but i was i was confident that i i, I would pass to be honest yeah because i i worked really hard I can't lie I studied very very hard even if it was challenging I didn't have time enough time to study I didn't have my computer I would borrow a computer from my brothers but sometimes they would need to use it so I d couldn't really use it on most days and you know all that so I'm sitting there my life my life before my eyes I click the submit button and I just see congratulations you have passed uh, wait for certification and I'm just wait I wore I wore these clothes <laughs> I wore these clothes that day okay yeah and I just get up I'm like yes I did it I I made it I'm done like I did it and you know I walk into the um the office of the I don't know what her role was, but she was the conducting the whole exam thing. I walk in, I'm like, hi. She's like, hey, how was it? I'm like, it was pretty hard. It, and it was. It was pretty hard. And she's like, yeah. How did you do? I'm like, I passed. She's like, really? You're the only one who's passed. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, people have been failing. Everybody who's written before you and even the people that you were with in the exam room did not passed they did not make it you're the only one who's passed really i'm like okay and i left first person i called was my mom obviously and i told her she she went crazy <laughs> and then i called my lecture he's like are you pulling my leg are you serious I'm like yeah I, I passed i'm the only one who's passed um in my intake and he's like wow i'm so proud of you congratulations uh, you know, my director was calling and everything. My uh, the manager at my school was calling. You know, all these congratulations. But like, yeah, all that glory was nice. But like the pride I felt within myself, I can't explain. 
you know, after years of struggling and thinking like, oh my gosh, like, what am I going to do, you know? So, um, yeah, that's what happened. And what I took from that whole experience is just how, like, just God helped me and he connected me to the right places and the right people. And just having confidence in what I had was just, you know, what helped me so much. So, I mean, I know people who are struggling with dyslexia and I just want to let you know that, like, there's nothing you can't do. If you put your mind to something, you can do it, you know. I know, like... You know, you sit down and you're thinking, I'm just dull. You know, there was a point I was like, I'm just dumb, you know. But I think doing research is a good thing because when you can finally give a name to a problem that you have, it gives you hope, you know, because then you can connect yourself to ways of making things better for yourself. So I think doing research is great. You know, I discovered I had dyslexia and ADD and all that stuff. So... After I did that, I was able to kind of look for strategies for myself. So, yeah, I think that it, it helped me. And, you know, if you can do that for yourself, that would be great. And it comes with great benefits as well, you know. You're just special. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just special. That's it. So, from thinking that I could never academically achieve anything... To being the only one who passes an exam in like an, I don't know how many people were there but like it was quite a number of people and that was just crazy to me you know and I I had confidence from there like you know you can you can do more there's so much more you can do nothing can stop you just put your mind to it work hard and pray and that that's my recipe and that's just what I wanted to share with you guys today and I'm not feeling well and everything but like doing this has made me feel so much better and I'm really happy and I'm looking pretty for somebody who's not feeling good all right guys thank you so much I hope you subscribed have you I should have said this in the beginning of the video subscribe right now I'm so proud this video is not as long as the first one subscribe like share comment everything watch my other videos as well god bless you i love you thank you bye oh, oh, oh.